This is my happiest place on earth. There's a castle. Wow, look at her. This has been your amateur ice cream review. Apparently we live here now. Where's the There he is. So I'm in Florida. Guess, guess where I am? It's not that hard. I'm at Universal. I am very excited. Haven't been here since January and it's April, so honestly, hasn't been that long. Usually it's a lot longer, but I had to come down here to look at UCF because I'm gonna be going there for college. Why not stop at Universal? So I don't really have a plan for today. I think we're just gonna go in and see what the crowds are. Usually I study the app like days before to look at wait times and everything, but I didn't do that. So just kind of winging it today. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna put on some sunscreen. We can't check into our room yet, so we're going to go to the parks first. We just checked in and our room actually is ready now, so we did get our room keys. There's a bug. They give you your express passes even if your room isn't ready, so they have pictures on them. We asked to switch ours out so we could get Harry Potter. We've never gotten Harry Potter before in the like probably 10 times that we've stayed here. I forgot to say there was a super nice team member like walking around and she gave us lays, so it's so much fun. We'll probably end up in the backpack because I don't want to be like flapping in my face while we're on rides and everything, but Super fun. Never gotten a light before. I've never even seen them here. We're coming into Islands of Adventure and it's kind of loud here for some reason. Oh, the fans are on. That's that's it. But I have to say, this is my happiest place on Earth. I don't know. I haven't been to Disney a bunch recently, but for now, Universal is my happiest place on Earth. It is really crowded. It's Sunday and it's like high season. We're probably just gonna hang out, maybe walk around some stores, walk around the park, maybe walk to Universal. We're headed to Filters right now. There's the castle. Wow, look at her. We're going to see Poseidon's Fury. We have never done this, ever. I don't know why. We've been coming to Universal for a while. We've been here a lot and we've never done it. We always just hang out in the Harry Potter stuff. So I'm excited to see what it's about. From what I've seen so far, like the theming looks really cool. So I'm excited. And we got to use our express passes for the first time this trip. So I'll give you guys a review, I guess. I'm gonna give you guys my review of Poseidon's Fury. It was fun. The theming, the actual, I don't know, the set and the acting was good, but then like when you get to the end, the like fight between them, the film on them was so bad. Like could they not have done a little bit of a better job on that? So it was good. Like I would do it again, not soon, but yeah, I thought it was good. We picked up some pizza tots from Green Eggs and Ham Place. I don't know exactly what it's called. But we've never had these before. I'm gonna give you my taste test. It's burnt. It took forever to get these. Like, we ordered them pretty fast. But, I don't know. They just weren't given them out. So while we're on our way over to Universal, because Islands of Adventure is getting so crowded, UCF has a group here uh, right now, and they're everywhere. So it's really crowded. So we're heading over to Universal. I don't think they're in that park, so hopefully it'll be less chaotic. The tater tots. I wouldn't get them again, I don't think. They were okay, and I was hungry, so it was fine. But they were not my favorite thing ever. We just walked around Diagon Alley for a bit, and there's like no one here. It's so nice, I don't know if you can tell. But it's like, like five something, and no one here, it's so weird. And it's like kind of high season, so I don't know 
It's probably just because it's a Sunday, but it's very nice. So I think we're just going to walk around, find another place to sit, and relax. back to the hotel and I'm really tired it's like uh, like 6 30 or something and uh, I'm just remembering how much I love this hotel it's so nice and we have a beautiful view this time last time we were all on the first floor thinking about ice cream from the lobby they have really good ice cream and it's huge proportions we ventured back down to the lobby in search of ice cream we're on a quest It would focus on me. Hello. Okay, we're gonna do it without focus. Um, ice cream, huge. So this is a large. How much did it say it was? Like eight dollars. Huge. And they have mint chip this time. I don't think they. I don't remember them having mint chip before. But they didn't have peanut butter, and usually we get peanut butter. So I don't know. We'll see if the mint chip's any good. But look at that. It's huge. So my rating of the ice cream was pretty good. Similar to Briar's, but not like big chunks. And also it was green, so kind of different. I'm definitely not an ice cream reviewer, but this has been your amateur ice cream review. I'll be back tomorrow to hopefully ride Hagrid's. We'll see. to get into Islands of Adventure and hopefully we'll get to just zoom on to Hagrid's. I see that they're already running um, Velocicoaster and Hulk just testing them this morning so hopefully we'll get in soon. It kind of seems like it because there are a lot of people here. We did our little jog like normal waiting for Hagrid's. So we did get in the wrong line trying to get into the park so it's a little unfortunate but it'll be fine. We just got done with Hagrid's and it's so much fun. We were in the front. We switched with um, this family. The poor kid didn't want to go on the ride. And it did not look like he enjoyed it, but we don't want them to go in the front. to Universal. The train was pretty fast. We just like got on the first train. We walked right in. So we love Express. We're going to be taking advantage of that all day today. And we actually on the way in here booked our hotel for tonight. We're going to stay at Sapphire Falls. So you guys will get to see our full reaction to that. That'll be really exciting to stay at a new hotel. I just love Green God so much. That's such a fun ride. Now, guess where we're heading? Ice cream, because the line was all the way around the block yesterday and we don't want to deal with that. The ice cream always hits the spot. It's so good. And actually today I got my own. Usually my mom and I share, but she wanted to try chili chocolate ice cream. It was not
not very good. She liked it well enough. I didn't like it. I just don't really like chocolate ice cream. So now we are outside of, I just say outside. We're outside of Diagon Alley. And I might go on the mummy. I don't really know. I have to say it is the perfect weather out. Like it's probably like 75 or 80, no sun no wind, nothing. It's just so comfortable. Like, this is perfect. I could go all day in this weather. Sadly, it is going to rain later and everything's going to close. So we're trying to get everything that we want to do in, in the morning. Taking the train back over to Hogsmeade and then I think we're going to head out to get our stuff out of Royal Pacific. We're doing a little like transition. We're heading out. I did ride the mummy. It was fun. I didn't realize it's like a little more intense in the back. It is like 11.30 and we got late checkout, so we have to be out of the room by 12. We're just gonna pack up our stuff and lay down for a little bit before we bring the stuff back to the car. And then I guess we're heading back into the park. So I'm gonna get a little rest, pack everything up and enjoy the last bit of our view. We're back in Isles of Adventure. I just wanna catch you up on what we've done. So we came in, I went on Dr. Doom. Then we kind of just walked around and then sat in Hogsmeade for a little bit. That's kind of it. Ooh, do you see that? Um, those outfits down there? Yeah. Those are pretty cool. Here, I'm gonna show you guys. That's pretty awesome. I love dressing up, so it's nice to see when other people do it. And that guy has a big camera, so they're obviously making some sort of video. That's cool. So yeah, we're waiting for the train and we're gonna go see a show that we've never seen before. got done watching the born stuntacular and it was pretty good it was really interesting how they like integrated the real sets and then like animation and I thought the animation was pretty good too I think they probably just recently redid it because it looked like very new updated I think I probably like Poseidon's Fury a little better although the end of that was kind of rocky I just think the fact that they had you moving and there was interesting stuff to look at and it was like more funny this one was just kind of like bam pow it's starting to rain now so i don't know what we're gonna do the rain kind of stopped for a little bit but all the outdoor rides are closed so i thought it's probably a good time to head out have a rest and everything because we're tired we've been in the parks six and a half hours today so that's quite a lot we don't usually do that much like in a row we might go back i mean we we had like a half hour break in the middle. We're moving the car over to Sapphire Falls. Hopefully we can get into the room. If not, I don't know what we're doing. We're trying to get out. But yeah, we're just, bye. Apparently we live here now. We can't get out of the parking. Our room keys are supposed to let us out of the parking. Aloha Mora. <laughs> We can't get into the parking garage. It's Sapphire Falls. It must be broken or something. There's some glass cleaner in here though. Do you want it? And look, we've got a beautiful view of cars.
So we took the boat over today, and now we're just rushing over to get in line in front of Islands of Adventure. I don't know exactly what time it is, but the boat did not leave on time, so probably could have made it here faster walking, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure we will get on Hagrid's as long as it's open. It's 7.13, so that's a good deal earlier than we were here yesterday. We're like 10 people back, so I think this should be good, and they're already testing Hulk, so I'm guessing they're gonna let us in early again today, which would be good, so I feel like 10 people should go through pretty fast and then we'll be on the line fast. So we didn't run to get in and Hagrid said it was opening at nine and said delayed when we got here. So we got in line anyway and we're moving now. So it's only been a few minutes. I don't know if we're just moving farther up or if we're actually going to go to the ride, but that would be nice. That would be very fast for them to fix the ride. We got on like the second train, I guess, but like so much fun and we thought it was broken and we weren't even gonna try and we got on it. What a great way to end the last morning, I guess start the last morning at Universal. So I don't know, maybe, I don't think we'll wanna wait because we don't have Express obviously anymore because we stayed at Sapphire Falls. So you hear that werewolf? That's yeah. cool. Maybe I'll try the lost coaster, maybe not, or maybe, don't really have, where are you going? Where we made it to, where's the train? There he is. We rode the train over here and we just wanted to see stuff before it gets too crowded and also before it rains. We are exiting and heading back to the hotel now. I guess I'll like give you my final thoughts when we get there. Just have to pack up and then we are heading on to the next adventure. We're gonna head out. I just wanna tell you guys like my thoughts from this trip. I had a lot of fun. We tried some new things. We did Poseidon's Fury, which I'd never seen before, and The Born Spectacular, and also we tried a new hotel. And my rating for Sapphire Falls is pretty nice. It's just not quite as nice as the like premier hotels, so I would probably pick the other ones just because you get an express pass from them, but I wouldn't be opposed to staying here again it just wasn't quite as nice so i'm glad we tried it and i hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me i will see you guys later bye